Hey guys, on the last episode of Make It Real, we started building Stormbreaker, Thor's new weapon from Infinity War. Now, it's time to build the hammer end of it. To build it, we're going to be using a cool technique where we plasma cut steel plate and then weld it together to form the 3D shape. Now, the neat thing with this technique is it's something you can do yourself, because most machine shops will actually do plasma cutting for pretty reasonable prices. It's what we did before we had our own CNC plasma table. And make sure you support us on Patreon to gain access to our design files so you can recreate our projects at home. Now, casting it would have been a bit more realistic to the movie, but for the size of the hammer, you would need some pretty big equipment to cast it successfully, which we don't have yet. If you guys like this project, make sure you check out some of our other Marvel builds, like Cap's Electromagnet Shield, his new Wakandan Shield, and Thor's original hammer, Mjolnir, complete with all of its different abilities. Let's get building. To start, we'll be designing it in CAD before we plasma cut. It's gonna be a lot more pieces than the blade and a lot of welding. As you can see, we're drawing the 2D outline of each piece and then adding it to the 3D model to make sure everything lines up for when we do the welding. Now that we have all the pieces complete, we're going to export each part as a flat pattern DXF file for the plasma cutter to use. The plasma cutter we're using is a Maverick CNC from Elite Metal Tools, our source for industrial machinery. It's enabled us to make even better projects since we got it. All right, so the plasma cutter cut this hole a little too small. Probably could have accounted for it, but I was in a hurry. So we're gonna have to lave down this pipe in order to make it fit. Come on, man. I should show my stuff in the way. That goes inside the center of the hammer portion of Stormbreaker to reinforce it when we're smashing things. And then these guys all stack up on top of this. Alright, so we're actually going to make the end of Stormbreaker replaceable since we're going to smash so much stuff. So this is actually the head of the hammer. I'm going to weld this M16 bolt on there and it'll actually thread into the core of the hammer using this nut which we can insert into the pipe. Try that again. There we go. So now, let's go like this. Once that's welded in place. Sure, the next fun part is jamming this into this hole. Now the threads are broken. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut off the end of the thread. It's warm. But it's still not in far enough. Where's the sledgehammer? Use all the projects. I need more room to swing this.
fight Zhao in his spare. Yeah. Right. I thought I had. I knew this would fail. I see you've noticed I'm not wearing a normal Hacksmith shirt. Limited time merch now with link in the description below. Well, I can go on the scrap metal shelf. Take two. There we go. Is it crooked? Yeah, it looks crooked. The ultimate test. Slightly crooked. All right, so before we weld the hammer together, let's see how much it's going to weigh just in steel alone. So just to remind you, the ax portion, which we already made, weighs 24 and a half pounds or 11.1 kilos. So, let's see what this weighs. Ten kilos. Are we missing something? Oh. Yeah. I was like, that's way too light. There we go. Twelve point six kilos, or twenty-seven point eight pounds. So, as of right now, the hammer side is going to weigh more. Plus, we'll probably use at least one to two pounds of welding wire. So we may have to add a bit more weight to this. So the whole thing is balanced. This whole thing should be. All right, let's start welding. Now oh, we're gonna do this. We're going to start by welding this into here, and basically the whole thing will stack on top like one of those baby puzzle things. The reason I like welding more than woodworking is because with woodworking, if you cut a piece too short, you're screwed. But with welding, you just fill it with weld. It's kind of like cheating.
right, now to stop it from resting. Some magic oil. So, before we finish this, let's do a quick little test. We're gonna go up under the roof of the garage and drop it onto five panes of tempered glass. This stuff's actually really hard to break. Uh, here's a clip of our Wakandan shield, not even breaking one with a full punch. So, let's hope this fares a bit better. Attaboy. Bring me my hammer. Holy It is heavy. Hey. I'm glad the rope has knots in it, Ian. No going back now. Am I almost there? How much do I trust this safety rope? It's not like we have a, a real fall arrest harness in the garage or anything. Well, I feel safer than not having it. All right, so I'm on the roof here, and I've got um, the hammer portion of Stormbreaker, which we are going to drop off the roof onto five panes of tempered glass. Okay, everyone ready? Coach James. Just, I pulled my back out the other day. Nice. So, you know, it's kind of in myself. This and then. Take two, TV. <laughs> Okay, okay, you can pull now. Hurt your armpits. It didn't go through all of them. The middle one survived? Yeah. That's weird. Here we go. Destroyed. Don't miss. Here we go. Boom! Woo! You don't need that. Okay. If I could have one superpower, it would be the ability to jump off high buildings. The screen didn't blow up though, did it? It exploded out the back. The dumb game. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. 
All right, so after we did those destructive tests, the hammer wasn't too damaged, it was a little scratched up, but we got Owen to do a whole bunch of sanding, and then we actually added a few more detail pieces along the hammer, and uh, we posted a whole bunch of updates on Instagram about this. So if you're not following us on Instagram or Facebook and Twitter, make sure you do that, because you can see the projects as they're being made before the video comes out. Anyways, now that we have the two pieces mostly finished, we still have to polish this a bit, so it's nice and shiny like this guy. Um, Let's see what it looks like together. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> All right, let's find a temporary handle. Perhaps a bit flimsy. Oh boy. This is ridiculous. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this is actually probably how most wood would behave too, with this much weight. So, make sure you're subscribed. Part, uh, part three, we'll be welding this together and finding Groot. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. This project has been a ton of work. Next up is attaching the two sides together permanently and then finding Groot. And you know we're gonna have to test this thing with an awesome destruction video. We even found Thana. <laughs> Subscribe, turn on notifications, blah, blah, blah. You don't wanna miss it. Why do you have a camera? Get that out of there. You're not allowed. Well, when we have bloopers and we're not looking for bloopers, you'll thank me. <laughs>